Okay, folks, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming to you from Beckley's Camping Center. And today we're going to talk to you about the 2018 Tab 400 from New Camp. But before we do, if you ever have any questions on any RV or even any questions on this particular one, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by, you ask for Paul, the Air Force guy. Feel free if you're new to this channel, subscribe, keep up with the latest and greatest. But let's get on to this Tab 400. So the specifics on this Tab 400 are the overall length is 18 feet in length. It's, it's eight foot wide. You're looking at a tongue weight. Now they have changed, they have since changed the uh, tongue weight information on their website and they've upgraded to saying it's 400 pounds. Now keep in mind that is without the propane and that is without the spare tire. So once you put that on there, you're gonna be somewhere between 440 to, to about 460, somewhere in that range. So just keep that in mind. So let's go on the off-door side. Let's show you what we have on the off-door side here. Now on the off-door side here, you're gonna see, of course, you're gonna have your Cool Cat AC system uh, right up in the front there on the bottom part. You can see your uh, tank. This is where you're gonna have your, be able to dump your tanks. You're also gonna have four stabilizer jacks, one on every corner. And these are the, uh, these are the heavier duty. Now with that black, uh, with this emptying the black tank, you also do have a black tank rinse. So that way you're able to rinse out the black tank after you dump it. Now nice thing to help clean up after you uh, empty your tanks or if you just want to clean up because you're at the beach or whatever you have a nice little shower on the outside that has both hot and cold water that comes out of there for you also going to see back here this is where you're going to fill up your fresh water tank if you're going to be carrying water or you're going to connect your hose in the event that you're going to be at a campground below this this is where your cable hookup is going to be and then of course you have your electrical cord and then in here, this area here, what you're looking at, this is for you to empty your low point drains as well as your, um, your fresh water tank as well. Now this part here, this is for your Aldi system. And there is a simple fix, folks. If, if any of you are having issues with it not getting hot enough, what you want to do is turn it to where it can go as hot as you can. Then loosen up this set screw, get it past that stop, and then uh, turn it past the stop, and then tighten it back up, and that should solve your, your issues. You have your water heater bypass under here, your Aldi system exhaust, and then this part right here, this is gonna be for your um, sewer hose. Gives you a little spot to put your sewer hose um, after you uh, clean it off and so forth. So this is the off-door side. As you can see up towards the top is gonna be your um, that is going to be your uh, stereo antenna. You can see you have the port, the nice windows there. One's for the bathroom, one's going to be for the up in the front. You can see I have one of the shades on, one of the shades off. Now on the back side here, as you can see on the roof, you see we have the two, those are the two 100 watt solar panels. And this is going to have the inverter system on it. So you see as the back, you can see the back end slopes up. Gives you a little bit more ground clearance. And of course you have access to the storage over here. Now, it's kind of exaggerated right now due to the fact that we have a box in there, that's for the spare tire. But when that comes out, that's gonna go across another, about another two feet. But you're, this is where they store the battery. This way here, folks, you do not have that weight of that battery, and that's a larger battery. You don't have that on the tongue. And of course you can see you have a uh, battery disconnect switch in here. That way, there you're not draining your battery. So now on the door, as you can see, quite nice what they've done with the door here. See, they have a nice little pocket area down the bottom here. That's great for like storing little trash bags or you know like your, your little grocery bags. Use those for trash bags and so forth. And of course, you have two other storage areas. You know, put keys, odds and ends and so forth. And then the window here, it does have the shade that you can go ahead and uh, put on there. Of course, you do have the 110 outlets on here. And then look at this here, folks. Nice day, you wanna go ahead and stay at, you know, leave the door open, but you wanna have some breeze coming in there, you can do that. And you can see you have that nice, look at how bright that, of course, I know it's daytime, but 
you really that LED light is very, very bright. So let's go ahead and go inside here and take a look, see what we've got inside. So you can see it looking here towards the back. We just kind of pan that a little bit for you, give you an idea what you're looking at. So as you come in, your controls are going to be right here. So the top one here, this is going to be for your air conditioner. And basically, the f you can turn on your fan. And I'm actually going to turn it on. So it, it has the heat pump as well as having the air conditioner. That it, that'll turn on here very shortly. It is very quiet. Um, it's coming on as we speak. This is where you'll be checking all your levels, your battery, black tank, fresh water tank, gray tank, everything right there. Turn your water pump on, porch light, your accent lights, which you can see, they're gonna be along here, they're gonna be up top here, as well as towards the front, they're gonna be up along the, the front area there. Okay, so that's that. Now, then of course you have your Aldi system here, and that's where you'll go ahead and turn your Aldi system on. Now, for your stereo system, the really cool thing on this is you actually have three sets of speakers that you can turn on. So you have a speaker that's up underneath here, under your sink, then you're gonna have two, uh, two up in this area. You have one on this side, which is on the side of the dinette, and then of course you have another one on this side, back up in this area, you have another speaker, and of course, the third speaker is going to be back in the bedroom area. But now for the dinette, for the dinette, let's talk about the dinette, folks. This dinette makes a bed, and it's going to be 69 inches in length, and it's going to be uh, 32 inches width on the short side, 39 inches on the long side. And there's a cushion. That table just folds down, and that is where you'll you be able to put a bed. Now the other thing is, the reason why it's a little bit shorter is the fact that they've built this out due to the fact that they had to have a, um, put a uh, the air conditioning system in this area and the ducting and so forth. And so you can see you have some storage compartments back behind that window area, which makes it quite nice. And of course, you have the storage all the way up on top here, have the nice light and so forth. Now, speaking of lighting, let's talk about the light that's up here in the ceiling. So what you have is the first time you turn it on, you get a little blue light. You turn it on a second time, what you're going to get is a little, it's going to get a little brighter. And each time you push it up to three times, it even gets even brighter. Right next to it, of course, is going to be your, this is your power vent fan. And what you do with that is you open up a window. And if you're going to go ahead and pull it, pull air out, you're going to turn that switch there, that'll pull air through the windows and just circulate the air. Now if you want to have the air dump in on you, then what you do is this button, you're just going to turn it there and it's going to pull the air and dump it right on you. And of course you have um, the fan speed, you can control that. So I don't know if you can hear, I do have the AC on, it's blowing, of course you have a um, duct that's blowing air across there. The return is going to be down on this side, and you have another blower there. Nice thing underneath of your dinette here, you're going to have your 110 outlet as well as your USB ports. So you have plenty of room to be plugging things in here. So let's talk about your kitchen. As you can see, plenty of kitchen counter space. So what you have is, if you're, if you're using your sink, obviously, you're gonna have it open. Look at how nice and deep the sink is. But see now, if you're using this, then you can have the, um, your cooktop closed down, which gives you additional um, counter space. If you're not using your sink, obviously, you can put that sink down um, and use your two burner cooktop. So you do have a fair amount of counter space here. You also have 110 outlet right here. It's GFI protected. It'll probably take care of the outside. And then of course you have a 12 volt plug. So in the event you're dry camping or you just, you know, you just want to use a um, car charger, to charge your phone, your iPad, whatever. You can see now on the windows, what I've done is I've gone ahead and put the shades up part way, but you have from the top pulling down, you have the screens. From the bottom pulling up, 
you have the dark dark out shades there of course you can see your cabinet space up above here you've got plenty of cabinet space up in here as you can see fit and finish is very very I mean they've done a phenomenal job you can see it let me open this drawer and I'll show you what I'm talking about with the wood you see how they they build the drawers I mean folks this is not put together in a hastily manner these are these drawers are gonna last last you a long time also nice storage up underneath there and they close very well of course you have your little refrigerator here and folks I can tell you you know I go camping and I might have a uh, you know a six cubic foot eight cubic foot 12 cubic foot refrigerator but it doesn't matter I still have one or two coolers with me as well back in the bedroom area here of course you have a counter extension that pulls up so that will give you additional counter space while you're cooking folds down quite nicely the TV here the Jensen TV that does pull out and swivel down below the TV this is what something that's new for 2018 of course you can see you have your inverter as well as the inverter outlet so if you have a CPAP machine you're dry camping you're able to use the battery power overnight to go ahead and operate your CPAP um, I've been told by a few folks that they also have an adapter where they could do a 12 volt so if you didn't if, let's say you didn't want to get the inverter you could always plug your um, if you had a 12 volt connection port you can plug that into your um, CPAP as well so the bed back here this bed is 79 inches in length 57 inches in width then of course back here you're gonna have some nice lighting back behind you see where the blue lights are I just want to shut that light off so you can kind of see now these lights here could be you know for blue or if you push and hold the button they'll be become reading lights so you can do whatever whichever way you want it just touch the it's a blue and then of course if you need additional lighting you have the lighting back behind that piece of wood there now back here in the bed area you can see this is where you have your AM FM CD stereo that's a DVD player and it is Bluetooth as well now you see the one speaker you have back here so you're going to notice that on the stereo you have a B and C that is for your speakers so you just turn on the speakers you like if you want all of them you can you can see you have an AC duct back here so it's blowing the air so you get nice air circulation back here down bot down towards the bottom here you're gonna see you have a 110 outlet in that little cubby as well as the 12 uh, 110 so you've got both of those right there in the little cubby so let me kind of give you a little preview of what you're looking at from this this area from this direction of course now you can see you have a nice big closet right here let's go ahead and show you what that looks like in here open this up you can see it has a nice light in here to light things up you have storage bins on either on, on, right there there's three of those now of course this little secret door right there that's just so you can get down to um, your um, water system for repair and of course you can see what the Aldi system um, the capacity is in that as well and of course you can hang things in there then of course the next door behind door number two we have your bathroom so you can see the bathroom has a, a mirror on the on the door it's quite nice and then of course your your this has the shower now the shower curtain on here folks will go from up top here all the way around the unit as you can see okay so it gives you full coverage and then what you're doing is when you're storing it you can see right behind the toilet there it has a little hook so you can store it back behind there you have two different lights in here you have one in the ceiling which just turns on that's a bright LED light as you can see then you also have this other light for back behind your cabinet there so you can see how that is and folks of course you have the to the shower here I mean your your sink in the shower folds up out of the way when you're not using it folds down when you need it but notice on either side you have a place for putting toothbrushes some soap cups you have a nice little ledge next to the faucet there so and then of course you obviously you have your toilet but more importantly they go ahead and cover the toilet paper so that way there it's not getting wet <clears throat> so that is folks that is your 
bathroom. So I appreciate you watching. Again, this was the 2018 Tab 400. Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force Guy, coming to you from Beckley's Camping Center. Be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by, you ask for me, check out my how-to videos as well as my product recommendations, and I've got a lot of great things coming down the pike. Appreciate you watching, and we'll come back at you again shortly. Take care.